Do you know what's the OECD? It's the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, basically a club of rich countries, high-income countries. It's a, it's a club that has 38 members, including the US, France, Germany, Italy, and Canada. These are also the go-to countries for migrants. From the world over, people want to go and live there. Last year, 2.8 million people did that. 2.8 million foreign nationals migrated to an OECD country. It was a record high. Do you know who topped this list? Indians. They migrated to rich countries in the highest numbers, and that's not all. Indians also led the race in getting foreign citizenship. Most of them chose America, and guess what? India and Canada may be at odds, but Indians continue to get Canadian citizenship. The highest number of foreign nationals acquiring Canadian citizenship were Indians. The question is why? Why are so many Indians renouncing the Indian citizenship? Here's a report. Diplomatic relations between India and Canada have been worsening. This year, Delhi and Ottawa hit a diplomatic standoff. But that doesn't seem to matter all that much. Or maybe it's simply the love for maple syrup, because Indians are moving to Canada in record numbers. Last year, Indians became the biggest group to acquire Canadian citizenship. In 2022, Canada added a record number of 375,000 new citizens. The highest number among them were Indians at 60,000, a staggering jump of 174 percent from 2021. They were followed by Filipinos, Syrians and Pakistanis. But that's not the only race Indians won. Last year, they were at the forefront of migrating to OECD nations. OECD refers to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. It constitutes 38 member states, including the US, France, Canada, Italy, Germany and Finland. But Indians aren't just migrating to these countries, they're also becoming its new citizens. India led in acquiring foreign citizenship to OECD countries. And America remains their dominant choice much like the year before last. In 2021, 133,000 Indians acquired the citizenship of an OECD country. America welcomed the most Indian citizens at 56,000, followed by Australia at 24,000 and Canada at 21,000. That's not all. Many among those leaving India are high net worth individuals or HNWIs. This year, about 6,500 HNWIs are likely to leave the country, making India the second highest in terms of HNWI outflow. China takes the lead with a loss of 13,500 individuals. The story is clear. A growing number of Indians are willing to surrender their passports. In the past decade, 1.5 million Indians have relinquished their citizenship. The question is, why? Migration is not a recent phenomenon in India. It has the largest emigrant population globally, with 18 million people living outside their homeland. However, all Indian immigrants don't necessarily renounce their citizenship. But when they do, the reasons are multifold. Reports say socio-economic factors play a role. Some may be looking for a higher standard of living. Others could be on the lookout for increased political stability or lower taxation. Maybe even more personal freedom for a breath of fresh air, sometimes quite literally. Pollution levels in India are spiking again. The nation is home to one of the most polluted cities in the world, its capital, New Delhi. One may want to escape this. Ease of mobility is another factor. The stronger the passport, the more visa-free access to other countries. And India ranks at the 80th position in terms of passport strength out of 199. But despite the outflow, India is poised to become one of the world's fastest wealth markets by 2031. Only time will tell if that is appealing enough to those chasing OECD countries.